Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I have filmed. Um, I think the last video I did, she was just about, I think two weeks old, I believe. Um, maybe three, I can't quite remember, but she will be six weeks old tomorrow. So I cannot believe six weeks has already flown by. I actually go back to work in two days which I also cannot believe it's already time for me to do. So I thought today I would do a bit of a day in the life video for you since we've we've actually finally gotten down a good routine just for it to all change with me going back to work. So I thought I would share that with you before it's complete chaos around this house again, which I mean is kind of pretty usual around here already. But anyways, right now I am, I've been up since about 8 o'clock, it's almost 9.30, and so I am about to put her down for her first nap. Um, I got up at 8 and changed her and dressed her and nursed her, and then she has been playing with her little, well I say playing, but watching and listening to her little activity center while Mama got some stuff done around the house. I've made the bed, started some laundry, and my memory card was full, so I had to swap that out. But done some stuff in the pet room and did some laundry, and like I said, now I am about to try and get her down for her first nap. Hello, little miss. So she gets up around 8, and like I said, our morning is feeding and changing and all of that fun stuff. Hi. See, I'm looking. I'm looking around. See, I'm starting to get pretty good head control for her age and I'm starting to smile. She's cooing a lot more. Um, she does have really bad baby um, acne and a little bit of eczema. So we're working on taking care of that. Yeah, we are. We're working on that. And so now I am going to try and get her down for her first nap. Let me see how I'm going to try and film this. Normally I swaddle her for her naps if it's going to be in the crib or the bassinet. Other times we'll do contact naps, but Mama has some stuff to get done this morning. Did you pacify her? No. It's okay. Okay, so it is 10 o'clock and she is down. It took a little bit longer than normal. Normally I get her down in like 15-ish minutes, but she wanted to coo and smile and be all cute for a few minutes before she decided she was sleepy and wanted to go down. Ignore my broken door there. We've never replaced that from where the previous owners lived here. And I guess their kids, like, I don't know if they threw, like, another child into the door or what, um, playing around, but it's been busted up and we've been meaning to replace it and just haven't gotten around to it. So, now that she is down, I am going to get a few things done. So, let's let the dogs out so they can play while it is still cool outside. It's only in the 70s right now. So let them enjoy that and get a few things done here around the house. Let's go outside. Come on. Come on. Come on. And I set the alarm off right after I got baby girl down for a nap. So I, that like deafens me when it goes off. So I'm surprised that did not wake her up. Knock on wood. 
that it doesn't. Um, of course I do that. Then my husband called to make sure that I was just having a complete blonde moment and forgot to turn the alarm off before I let the dogs out this morning, which as you saw is exactly what happened, but he was just making sure. So let's start on some of these house chores. I have a list in my phone of stuff that I need to do, get off of her schedule, get onto my to-do list. Let's get some of these things checked off while we can. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do this morning, I have no cups in my cabinet, they are all in the dishwasher clean. So the first thing that we are going to do this morning before I get started on any of my house things, oh wait, there's not much left in here. Any of my house things that need to be done, dogs are outside, I am going to mix up my drink for this morning. I've got to get some more orange juice um, out today. So this is Goat's Roo. It is a lactation supplement. <clears throat> so I had yet another sinus infection and my doctor put me on an antibiotic that is safe for breastfeeding, but what the, he didn't mention was that there was a chance it could affect my milk supply and it did. It started to dry it up. So now I've got it back regulated to normal, which reminds me I still have to pump this morning. Um, but just as extra help, I am still taking the lactation supplement that you can take two to four times a day. I usually take it twice a day. Um, and like I said, it's goat's roux. It is a like natural herb medicine or mixed like tincture. So yeah. I could just put like three milliliters of that in orange juice. My friend who is a lactation consultant and told me to try this was like, don't do it with water because the herbs will knock you on your butt. So I do it with orange juice. So now I am going to drink this and get started. Okay, so now that the dishwasher is done, I am going to sit down and pump for 10, 15 minutes while she is asleep. And if she's still asleep when I'm done pumping, then I'll run upstairs and do my makeup and hair, but we'll see what she allows me to do in this moment. Okay, so I have baby girl here in her bouncer. I have 15 minutes before I have to be out of the house because I have to go and get my car's oil changed today. So. This is going to be a very, very fast makeup routine because I have 10 minutes to do my hair and makeup so that I have time to get her in her car seat and get my drinks and her diaper bag and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna rush through this.
is the quickest I have ever done my makeup in my life. And you know, I wanted to do something different with my hair, but it's a simple, just brush the hair day. So, get my shoes out of my closet here. So yeah. Okay, so it is 11.40. I am about 10 minutes late getting out of my house because baby girl decided she needed to nurse, but that's okay. So I am headed out now to meet somebody to get the lounger, and then we have a little bit of time to kill before we have to go to get the oil changed. Um, and then I might just go and see if I can get in for my oil change appointment a little bit early, honestly, because it would be great to be able to get back home a little bit earlier and finish the rest of the things that I need to do. I went ahead and threw another load of laundry in the washing machine, so that'll be done when I get home. And then I can do my last load of laundry for the day, which is her laundry. So yeah, that is kind of where I'm at at this point it is going to be a good day the sun is out it's supposed to be about 90 degrees so we'll have to wait until a little bit later this evening to go on our walk which we go after my husband gets home anyways and we let the asphalt cool way down so that we can take ellie to walk with us to get some of her energy out as well so that is kind of our routine he'll get home we'll do dinner he'll get a shower i'll feed baby girl get her ready for a nap and then she will nap while we go on our walk and then when we get back we will start our bedtime routine with her and then it will be time for bed i swear like the days go by so much faster as a mom than they ever did before. And I think it's because I thought I had a lot of stuff to do before. And now it's just a lot of stuff to do times two with eight dogs, two cats, a six week old as of tomorrow. And then going back to work, it's a lot going on but we are going to run our errands and get back home. And I'm gonna try to down a bunch of water because that's another thing with keeping my supply up for breastfeeding is you have to drink a lot of water. So I drink about five 16 ounce bottles of water a day. So I have to get started on that pretty early. I've only drank one so far today. So I need to go ahead and start downing another one and then get everything else done. Okay, so I have exactly an hour before my oil change appointment. I already got the lounger, and so now we are sitting in the parking lot letting baby girl nurse since I have an hour to kill before my appointment anyways. So once she's done, we're going to head on over there and hopefully they'll just go ahead and take my car and I can be out of there a little bit sooner than I expected and I can get a little more done at home. I cannot believe my day is already like halfway over. Where did the time go? Cause I have no clue. Okay, so baby girl is finished nursing. So we are going to head across to the dealership to get the oil change and by the time she finished nursing somebody's driving on the wrong side of the road in this parking lot um by the time she finished nursing i only have 10 minutes until time for my appointment so we won't be getting there early but more like uh that's gonna fall more like we will be getting there right on time so let's head across the street get this car's oil changed and hopefully it won't take too long to get that done. Okay, so I just finished up maybe 10 minutes ago getting my oil changed at the dealership. Randy Kate is not happy to be back in the car because we are not 
really moving. Um, I am in the drive through at Chick-fil-A because Mama has not eaten anything but crackers all day. And I am hungry, so I'm going to get food. And then we're going to hop on the interstate, which will settle her down once we start moving a little bit faster. And head home so that we can get her down for a good nap. Because she hasn't had, like, a nap this longer than an hour today. Which is unusual for her. She'll normally take, like, a couple of, like, hour, hour and a half, two hour naps um, throughout the day. But with being at the dealership, she couldn't get a good nap there. So we are going to head home after this and get the baby girl down and do some stuff that I need to get done. And then my husband will be off work in like an hour and a half. So he'll be home shortly. So I just got home a few minutes ago and got baby girl down for her nap. Well, nursed her, got her down for her nap. So now I am going to try and get a few more things done here around the house before I need to actually first I'm gonna run upstairs and feed the dogs and then I'm gonna start getting stuff done on my checklist here around the house because mama's got a lot to do still and the day is almost over. Time to feed all of these dogs. track of time but it's six o'clock now Corey is home on his phone <laughs> anyways I have this package come in it's got some clothes for Randy Kate what's in the package so, oh, there's two that I want to share this is from my friend's boutique and I'll have it linked down in the description but Look Ooh. how cute! That is cute. Fall clothes. I'd this wear it if size, I was a baby. Size three months. Super cute. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to put her in this. And here is the other one. Like, look how adorable. And look at the back with the ruffles on the bottom. I like that too. <laughs> Super cute clothes. So um, yeah, so those came in today. I cannot wait for her to be able to wear them. She hasn't made it into size three months yet, which she's only six weeks old. She can wear newborn and zero to three months, but it will not be long before she will be in those. 
And so, like I said, it's six o'clock. I am cooking dinner and then we are going to go for a walk. So I guess I am going to end this video here. Hopefully I gave you a little bit of a look of what like a realistic day in my life is actually like. I know I did not show Randy Kate a lot in this video just because we've been running around and when I can put her down in the bouncer and she says I don't want to disturb her because then she's going to want me to pick her back up. And I have a million different things that I need to get done, especially before going back to work. But if you want to hear more from me, head over to Instagram and follow me there. It's Rebecca Lynn underscore GA. And if you haven't already, make sure you click that like and subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with everything that is going on in our wild, crazy life with a newborn, eight dogs, two cats, and going back to work full time. It's chaos, it's organized chaos, but you're gonna wanna stay up with it. Leave me a comment down below and I'll catch you next time. Bye.